is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 29 of Path of Exile, Synthesis on the Xbox One X. We are exactly where we were at the end of part 28. All I've done is bounce back to town and empty the inventory out. I just sold everything, there wasn't anything I wanted to keep, I don't think. We've just begun Act 5, in case you'd forgotten. And it has been a little while since I've been in this game, so... I have been cracking on with Diablo and Game of Thrones game. But I felt like delving into this world again because this is all new to me now all new to me now people this hell's going up isn't it thank you Rock breaker, the man with the mighty rock. <laughs> that doesn't sound right at all, does it? Return to Oriath. Well, that was an interesting little battle, because our health went down fast as shit there. It was only the life on hit that was saving me. A massive shrine, is it? I've got the old multiple totems going on. Rolls galore and augmentation orbs for that matter. And yes, scrolls galore was a bond girl. And if she wasn't, she should have been. Breaker. Yeah. It winds me right up, but they've only got one socket on them, though.
A wrist chopper, is it? Oh, I see. Hitting the wrong bloody button, that's why. What's that move then? Not sure what that is. I do love it when it drops something and doesn't let you pick it up. I live for it. Yeah, we've done a circle here. Hundred and twenty nine armor. What sort of armor is it giving me? Jeez, it's a lot more in it. Oh yeah, but it's just armor though, no energy shield. Which to be fair is probably better for this character anyway. More armor the better really. And only three sockets on there. As if I wanted that.
Melee physical damage support. Supported skills deal 30% more melee physical damage. A hallowed life flask, what's that? I feel like that's the same waypoint I came from that's on the radio menu, radio, radio map. That's because it is, I think. Alright. Right, let's go where no man has been before. Three chests and not one item in them. Gotta love the loot system, people. Gotta love it. I've never known a game to drop so much loot I didn't want in my entire life. Pong yard. Pagan wand. That was a mace for a minute, I got all excited. But no. Oh, we've got a doorway, people. The hell was that? Oh, that is the doorway. Excellent. How good was that? Oh, this is our new central hubbity hub hub, isn't it? Eh? What the shit? Navali. Navali. The mother of death watches over the city with great interest. You have joined us just in time. 
Before you lies a great many paths, each walked by a different life. But each must come to the same end. Eventually. A grand treasure fractures like a dropped mirror, yet somehow goes unharmed. Hallowed flask, there we go. I think that was anything we picked up that was worth keeping. Might as well sell the rest. Right, who've we got here? A Tula. Templar murders Templar. Not a pretty sight. But it was enough to get this sorry lot up and fighting. The tormented one promised us a sign. You're not quite what I expected, but then... Who am I to argue with Kitava, the immortal slave? He speaks through you, Templar. He tells us that we shall be free. Utsula Makora is what they call me. And I have the miserable task of being chief to this lot. Well, I put the steel in their hands. I tell them where to stab, where to run, where to die. If that doesn't make me a chief, what does, eh? Blood isn't the only currency we need to earn to buy our freedom. We can kill all the Templar mongrels we like out there. It won't matter a damn if we don't get inside their stronghold, the Templar courts. Might as well put my bloody chains back on right now. Problem is, there's some sort of witchery surrounding the place. Only those who see the truth with faithful eyes are getting in there. The power of innocence. It's all in the eyes, you see. Yet blessed Kitava has answered my prayers and sent us just the pair of eyes we need. The ever faithful Justicar Casticus. He's there in the control blocks right now. Smiting my people with self-righteous fury. Find him and rip his faithful eyes out. Then I'm sure the good Justicar will be kind enough to see you into the Templar courts. Very good. Right, we need to... well, what's he? Uh, sell items first, I think. Let's get rid of what we don't need. Physical damage-wise, not really any better than what we've got.
I suppose quite a few of our things. Gonna have to sell some of these soon enough. Never gonna use half of them. Or even three quarters of them. There's a, there's a mace there. 38 to 57. They're not that much better, are they? Armour 591. And ours is currently half that. Even more, less than half, more than half of that. Gives us an idea. Let's go and speak to Lani. An exile returned. How is that even possible? And a Templar at that. Striding out of the sunlight to lay waste to our enemies, like Ramakor in the stories my mother used to tell me. Well, your divine intervention gave us just the diversion we needed to take this tower. So if you keep doing things like that, then I might have to start believing in the gods again. And thank you for finishing off that last overseer for us. I don't know what sort of mother could have birthed that land-loving whale, but we were lucky he wasn't here when we took this tower. He'd have spread us across the floor like butter on a piece of bread. Here, take something for helping us in this hopeless fight of ours. That's very kind of you, thank you very much. Well, I don't think I'm going to use any of those, am I? Anyway. Uh... Yeah, my rings are too good for... Well, mind you, they're unidentified, to be fair. Plus 133 to accuracy rating. 6.2 life regenerated per second. 6 to 12 physical damage to attacks. 7% increased fire damage. Yeah, the ones I've got, I've got the rarity stuff on them, that's why I've kept them on. Yes. Well, she sells all the bits we need. We just need to find stuff we want to convert now. Hmm. Reforges the number of sockets on item. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of.
Oh. Yeah, there it is. That was four five one. That was five nine one. Uh, if I had something to clear that all off. Requires level 45. As does that. We're only one away. I'll have a little crack on, I think, first, and see if... Uh... Yes. Hello. Valenta. Unlike these assorted ignorami, I'm not surprised to see you here. The beast is dead, all thanks to you, I suppose. I was listening to the beast's death rattles when these lunatics broke in, wrecked the place, and dragged me here to tend to their cuts and bruises. Thankfully, I was able to bring some of my paraphernalia with me. The balance of power is shifting in your favor, O oh murderer of nightmares. If I am in possession of anything that might smooth the transition of governance, don't hesitate to ask. You'll find my terms quite reasonable. Some time ago, I fabricated a device able to sense and amplify the corrupt murmurings of Rayclass, a miasmeter. I listened to those whispers for years, lingering beyond sane comprehension. And then the scream. Such profound agony that my mind was nearly sundered by its percussion. I thought another cataclysm might be upon us. But no, it was you, slaying the beast. I was witness to a singularly potent cadence. This corruption, I am convinced that it holds the very key to our human history, and with it, our very existence. Yet without the miasmeter, I am condemned to deafened ignorance. It remains in piety's laboratory, as long as Utula's miscreants haven't vandalized the poor thing. Find it. All right, yeah. Please and thank you. Well, there's the control blocks. It's a very limited area. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anywhere else to go other than the control blocks. Nope. Lightning damage can shock you. No shit.
That's the badger. Ooh, blimey, eh? Look at that. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna party! How many choppers? Ridiculous. Couldn't have been five of what I actually need though, could it? I am no beast of burden. I Well, that's definitely a better mana flask. Not that we ever use it. But. Now then, we've got four linked. And we've got one thing to reforge the links on this, but there's no chance it's going to link all of them, is it? The question is, though, uh, I guess it always benefits to have them linked, doesn't it? There's three reds on that other one. It's double the armor just about. <laughs> well, it gave me the three reds are linked again. Um, not sure what I would do with the one sat by itself. It gives us the extra armor though. Um. Yeah, it's whether or not we risk freedom comes to those who fight. Doing more. That costs four jewelers orbs, and jewelers orbs cost two orb of alterations, and. I wish it told you how many you had in stock there. Well, I've got two. We must have had one of those in our stocks and I didn't realise. This could end badly, people. <laughs> We've got a three again. I 
I mean, how is it allowed to go back to the feckin' beginning again? It's like there was no point in doing any of it. Freedom comes to those who fight. God damn it. It's just got worse and worse. And then we're back to the beginning again. It makes no fucking sense. The whole thing is just stupid. No consistency to what it's meant to be doing. You should have at least like five on the bounce of different types of link. Not the same one three fucking times that was the one you started on in the first place. God's sake. That's what winds me up the most about this game. It's complete. You spend so much time in the menus getting nothing that you want on pickups. And then you try and make what you want, it doesn't give you it anyway. <sighs> We've got 86 of those orbital alterations, so it's not like we're short. Greetings. I didn't mean to do that anyway. Right, let's see if we get anywhere near what we had before. Nope. Nope. Right, that's that's the first time I tried it, that's what I got. So I'm now I've now used fucking eight of those things and ended up with the first attempt. So I think I'm going to take it. We're going to lose a blue here. Combustion support, I'm not that bothered. can put a green in its place if we can manage it. So, the next thing we want to do is try and make it a rare of some description. Well, we could reforge the colour of the sockets, but it seems it doesn't really seem worth it for the sake of a, a green or a blue. Uh, no, we could just do that right enough. Upgrades a normal item to rare. We've also got these, though. Upgrades a normal item to rare with one guaranteed property. Properties restricted to level 60 or below. Weapon plus one. Other items, 18 to 22 strength. Avoid lightning damage when hit. Physical damage to melee attackers. Properties restricted to level 35 or below. All oh, right, that's no good, is it? I guess it's to stop you hanging on to them then. So the best one we've got then is that one. Let's see what we get. It's not bad. And the armor's gone up to 520. Plus 19 to strength, plus 48 to armor, plus 13% uh, increased armor, plus 21% fire resistance, 18% increased stun and block recovery. It's quite good that. And we can put everything in it we want. We'll just have a, a random socket that's not connected. So...
So, we need a... well, might as well get rid of this stuff to be fair. Actually got a legendary gem there. It's for Dex character though, isn't it? Got two of them. Ten percent global uh, plus fifty to armor. Plus fifty to armor. That's actually good for what we're using this guy for, isn't it? Let's have a look at using that in our tree somewhere. Well, as it happens, there's no point keeping that, is there? As we well dump it. See what we've got in the way of green gems? There was a support gem we were on with. What have we got on that? Ground slam and earthquake. Faster attack support would be nice. It's ground slam supported and earthquake supported. Might go for that. It's faster attack support. Support skills have 25% increased attack speed. Because they're both quite slow as it happens. The rest, oh, blind, blind would be quite good. Now we'll go for faster, faster jobber. Excellent. And we'll just leave that spare because we're not going to use anything in there. I mean, there's no such thing as a passive gem, is there? Right. We're good to go. Can't see the armour because it's under our cloak, but anyway. I think we've lost our uh, teleport back, but never mind. Noticing a difference on the uh, health going down a bit less stupidly quick, as it were.
Oh, that freezes in that one. One, two, what's our shield got on it? 250 armor, it's a pretty good shield that actually. A one-handed mace, 30 to 55 damage. The second. Five and kill. Guess the main question is how the hell do I get down there? I mean, I've been playing this game a lot of hours now, and I don't think I've seen any legendary armor. Well, like a body piece. Right then, let's have a look at our tree. Right, I need to try and remember what I was doing. I think we did, did this here, didn't we? I think we'd actually wrapped up a circle of stuff and then we would I'd made a decision to go somewhere else. People keep telling me to go for the life stuff as well because I keep ignoring it. Life and reduced mana cost. Well, reduced mana cost isn't a problem. I never run out of it anyway. It builds up so quick. Thirty percent increased armor is quite nice, isn't it? With two fourteen percent. What's this one here? Increased life, maximum life, increased effect of non-curse auras or your skills, plus twenty strength. It's not a bad one, that. And then we could circle round to it. That staff stuff. Elemental damage would be useful because we're using a lot of that stuff. Physical and lightning damage.
totem life and physical damage reduction brand duration I'm using all of those 10% increased totem life totems have 10% additional physical damage reduction hey eh? brand skills have 10% damage duration physical damage reduction why, do, why would I want a physical damage reduction 20% increase to totem life, 20% increase to totem duration, 24% increase to totem damage. Yeah, well I want all of that. Might head toward that, you know. How far are we from there? Quite far, but... Need to go up to strength here and then work our way down by the looks of it. No point in doing that, so we can go straight down. There's also a gem one here, and we've got that legendary gem to use. Right, let's do it. Quickest route, I think it is. Got an exclamation mark up there. Experimental supplies. Hey, the miasmeter, or whatever she called it, miasmeter. Return the miasmeter to Valenta.
Let's have a quick scoot about, see if there's another way in or out of this place, but... Stand back and watch them burn. Well, and electrify. Burnify. I do love a jeweler's orb, that's what you said. How is that doing? <laughs> Holy shit, that was fucking ridiculous. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> fucking checkpoints way back at the beginning, isn't it? Yeah. There should be a fucking checkpoint halfway through an area, for the love of Christ. It winds me up. Don't get any of this shit in Diablo. I simply can't express how wondrous it is to see you. What? No, not you, Exile. The Miasmeter. The hope of humanity lies in this beautiful device and the precious knowledge it shall divulge. Far more useful than an accidental hulk of meat and instinct like yourself. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to discover that your slaying of the beast correlates directly to the strife we must currently suffer. What are you trying to say? At least you've proved useful enough to return the Miasmeter to me. That deserves some small reward, Thank I you. suppose. Ooh, I love you. It'd be rude not to spend that straight away, wouldn't it? With the right button. Well, we're heading down to Totem Town. Half tempted to go straight to this one first. Put the gem in here. 
Oh. Oh, I know why. City boy. I mean, assuming, I'm assuming I haven't got another gem one that I haven't filled in. Oh, no, I haven't filled that one in. It certainly doesn't look like I've got a gem anywhere that I've not populated. Right, well, we need to clear out our inventory a little bit, and I will do that off camera. Although I might suss that out. I'd have to recolor the uh, things on it, but I think the one we're wearing is. Nah, it started on more armor than that, didn't it? The one we're wearing, much more. So we just sell all that. Anyway, it's a good place to wrap it up, and we'll go back and. Well, I assume there's somewhere else to go in that area. Must be another. We're probably right next to the bloody door that we should have been at before we died. It has been an honour and a privilege to for you once again in Path of Exile on the Xbox One X. And I'll catch you next time, folks. Take it easy. Bye.